After the diesel engine successfully passed its practical test in 1924 in the world's first diesel truck, the Benz 5 tons, the production of a diesel passenger car was within reach. The basic requirement was the pre-chamber principle invented by Prosper Laurent. In autumn 1933, the first experimental engines, 3.86 cylinders with an output of 80 horsepower were installed into test vehicles of the Mannheim model. Nevertheless, the vibrations proved to be too strong for the chassis and therefore prevented their use in a passenger car. In 1935, under the direction of Chief Engineer Albert Hess, it was finally possible to install a 2.6 liter engine generating 45 horsepower into a lengthened chassis of the Model 200. Daimler-Benz displayed the result at the Berlin Motor Show. The Type 260D in the six-seated Pullman Lando Lay version. The first 13 vehicles had already been produced since July of the previous year. 260D was the world's first passenger car with a diesel engine. From September 1936, the 260D was on offer in additional body styles, such as the fixed top Pullman sedan, four to five seat sedan, and the Cabriolet B seating four or five. Due to the reliability of the CI engine, the 260D was predestined for commercial use as a taxi. At a top speed of almost 100 kilometers per hour, a full 10-liter fuel tank could go 400 to 500 kilometers. The 9,500 Reichmark's price did not make the 260D a special offer, but the economic running costs quickly balanced the investment. Production of the 260D, internally W138, reached up to 1,967 by December 1940. The car proved the advantages of the diesel engine and thus marked the beginning of the diesel car's rise to success.